Okay, so here's what you need. Once you have your watercolor painting covered up with your other painting, you need to tape real close to the edge. You can see I have um, a few pieces on each side just to hold the painting down. Then you need black acrylic paint and then silver or gold. You need a little bit of water. You need the toothbrush that's over at the ceramic sink and a paintbrush. And I get some paper towels just in case I need them. And so first you're going to choose either silver or gold to do your background. This is what we're doing. You got to do silver or gold in the background first and then we spatter the black over top. So just take some silver paint and I get a whole staff uh, section of newspaper and put a little bit of paint on there. Then you need your water and your toothbrush and you're going to drip some water in the paint so it gets a little bit thinner and kind of scrub it with the toothbrush because you want to thin the paint down so it's not globby. Which is weird because you're not used to doing that with acrylic paint, but that's how you can get it. Remember when you spatter the acrylic paint, you need to cover your whole table surface with newspaper. And then you're going to take the toothbrush and you're literally going to fling the paint. You want to see how I'm holding the brush close to the paper? Because you want to concentrate the splatters close to the edge of your original drawing. And you just keep flicking to make your um, spatters on your background. And then you can just, when it stops working so well, dip it in the paint again. And over here, since that was sticking up a little bit, I always try to press it down so you don't get it on your watercolor project underneath of it. The more you get on here, I think the cooler it looks. Thank you. So. It's not going to matter because you're not going to need this paper anymore. So if you get it all over that, that doesn't matter. I just don't want it to get on your actual watercolor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm doing a video. Oh. Where is it? Is it? Go check on the cart, Ethan. Go look on the cart back there and see if it's still sitting on the cart. It might just not be fired yet. Okay, so then once the silver is done, just rinse the brush out in the water. And this is why I get some paper towels, just so you can a little messy. Yeah, get some of this stuff off your hands. You can share this with other people at your table, or if some of you are ready to do it together, you can do it together so that not everybody has to do this whole process. Because then you need to take some black acrylic paint. And you don't need very much black because it spreads like crazy. So then you do the same thing, get the brush and put some water in the paint to thin it down a little bit. Because you don't want it to be clumpy, thick, like normal. We kind of want it more the consistency of like your watercolor paint, but we can't use watercolor paint to do it because it won't pop on the surface of the paper. So once you have that, you're gonna do the same process. Um, I usually do a little bit less black because the black wants to cover everything and it's like really prominent. So I'm holding down that edge of your original drawing again so that it doesn't go underneath when you spatter. And you can do as much or as little spattering as you want. So if you want more black, like concentrated by the edges, I think that kind of looks cool. Um, I just go over close to the edges and try to keep that spatter on the very, very edge. But you can see how you can see it get darker the more times I spatter in the same spot. And then when you get as much spattering as you want, make sure you clean your hands off first. It's better probably if you go to the sink and wash them, but for the sake of the video time, do this. Just make sure you get your hands all cleaned off because they're going to take that paper off of there and you don't want to smear it. Um, I suggest just leaving this on until the next day after it's dry. Then pull it off when it's dry. And you can see, see how it creates that edge? Now it looks nifty. And that's how you get that pop of color. So try to leave it on there. You can just put it on your shelf till the next day until it's dry before you pull that off. Have fun. Uh, yeah.